This is the supercar of Brookhaven. It can surely go extremely fast, but only a few people really know how to drift with it. That's why in today's video, I'll be showing how to do exact drifts in any car in the game, as well as secret items and even a way to modify your car and make it look a whole lot better. Hey, Nando, grab this. All right, Bacon, but what am I even gonna use this wrench for anyway? We're gonna make our own car shop. If you say so, that's that, I suppose. Not really sure what we're supposed to do. I'll just follow him. Looks like this is where our shop will be. We can start by sprucing it up. Good idea. Since he's opening it up, I'll look over at the props, which are things that are gonna make our place look better. Since this place doesn't look like a car shop, it's a lot more like a storage room of some sort. Here in the props, we should grab some car parts. Like these things, for example, are they called steps or something? I really don't know that much about cars, but since Bacon called me for work, I'm still on it. These ones I think are called jacks for some reason. We can't forget to grab some toolboxes too. Without these, we won't be able to fix anything. I'll even get one out here, as well as some other stuff. With that, we finally turned this place into an auto shop. The only thing left is to choose a name for our shop. What about Bacon's workshop. I think that's a pretty good idea, but I'd like my name to be on it too. I'm gonna help out as well. That would only make sense. There we go. That's a whole lot better. No, we just need to wait for some clients. While we were just waiting for clients, that Grimace Shake guy showed up out of nowhere. You'll get seven years of bad luck if you don't leave a like in the video and subscribe to the channel. Oh my god! You guys better go do that. We don't want that bad luck either. Looks like that guy went away. Good thing he did. Wait, I think we finally got a customer. Please help me out. I think my car is almost on fire. Whoa! I think you're right about that. Not sure we can do much now. At least for now, we can't. Let me go grab a fire extinguisher. There's fire on it right now, but I bet that we can fix it still. Good thing the fire is not a problem anymore. Then I'll leave my car with you and come back tomorrow. All right then. Our client is going away, so it's time for our first job. That's so cool. His car is still spewing out a bunch of smoke. We gotta find a way to fix that. Maybe if we mess with these parts over here and then here. Smashing these tires seems to help a bit. Don't do that. It's gonna break down. Don't worry, Bacon. This is all under control. I calibrated the tires back up. It even stopped smoking like before. Good one, Nando. The car looks a lot better. It should be doing better. Try it out for me. Wait, why did his tire get left behind? What did you do? I'm not sure, dude. I don't know what I did. No, we gotta do something about that. Wait, what do you mean by that, Bacon? What are you doing with his car? Oh gosh, are you serious right now? There, problem solved. You're a crazy man, Bacon. The only thing left of his car is this tire here. Well, while there's no more work, I'll do something different. In Brookhaven, you've probably seen this car before. <gasps> this one was added quite a while ago in a prior Halloween update. It got really popular because of the style, as well as this purple trail that it leaves behind. The biggest issue with it is that you need the VIP Game Pass to have it. And that one is the most expensive one we got. It goes for 999 Robux. But there's actually a way to make a car that looks like that one for completely free. If you're able to to do that, I'll give you this ball. A ball? Well, if you say so. Since it'll be for free, we also need a free car. Like this guy. As you can see, it's not that different from that purple car. Putting them side by side, you can surely see a resemblance there. To start off, we need to go over to the props. While we're here, we'll grab this free item right here. We're gonna place it right in the middle of the hood. It may be a tad bit smaller, but it does work for what we want. Another important item of the VIP car is the wheel on top of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll grab these tire props and place them right on top of it. Maybe it's not exactly right, but it works. We also have this cool and scary spider on the back of the car. Happily, the props have this exact item right here. Let me just place it over there. The only problem is that it's a lot smaller than the regular one, but it still works. Since there's not anything left, I'll just get more spiders around the car for some style points. That's how our free car came out. It looks a lot like that VIP one. I know we can't make it exactly like the other, but if we have the game pass to change the color, we can try and paint it so it looks a lot closer. There we go. Doesn't that look good? It may not be exactly the same, but it sure looks like it, right? You better hurry, Nando. The owner of the car is coming. Where are you even going, Bacon? Oh, the owner is right there. Oh, gosh. What am I even gonna say to him? Please help me out, Bacon. Hey, is my car ready yet? Give me a moment, sir. We're on our lunch break. We're closed. We may need to be Bacon. What are we gonna do now? His car ended up on the neighbor's lawn. He can't even drive it anymore. It's done for. I know. Let's run away with the secret passage. The secret passage? You're right. Here, there's a button that takes us all the way to the roof of the building. We're probably a lot safer up here. From here, we can even see what the guy that lost his car is doing. He seems to be looking around for us. Probably just waiting for an answer from us. Us. Let's make our escape from the back so he doesn't see us, Bacon. He seems to be over there. Let's hope he doesn't notice us. Oh no, he found us. He's coming towards us. Run, Bacon. Get back here, you rascals. Get away from me, dude. I don't have anything to do with this. 
Phew! Now I think we're a whole lot safer this way. You're right. Some days ago, I posted this video where I showed you a bunch of ways to customize your cars in Brookhaven. Making those modifications can make your car look a lot more charming than before. It practically looks like a new car. This time, I'll be doing something different. I got this scooter, which as you can see, is a pretty simple vehicle. It's also pretty slow. Not a lot of people normally use it. My objective is to make it look awesome in a way that we could maybe sell it for a million dollars or something. Are we able to put a spoiler here in the back? Apparently, we can. I may need to get a smaller one since this isn't that big. What color should it be though? I think orange is a pretty good idea. That looks nice. Here in the front, I want to get a pumpkin. Over on the sides, I want to get one of these tombstones. Of course, I'll paint it orange too. I can even write whatever I want in it. Let me see. Maybe I'll just leave it blank. That would be best. Let me get another on the other side as well. Paint it orange too. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to paint the scooter the same color. Everything needs to be matching. Back in the props, we want to grab this moonlight item and we'll place it here on the side next to the wheel. Can't forget to paint it. Let me do the same on the other side. Oh no, I think I deleted everything by accident. I was doing so well before. I need to do it all over again. After getting the lights over there, we'll go into the plants and grab this sprinkler. We'll also get it on the sides. It needs to be orange as well to blend in. With that, our scooter now has its own particles. If we up its speed and do a wheelie, you gotta see just how different of a vehicle it is now. It wasn't worth anything before. Now we have this incredible motorcycle that is as good as it is fast. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this one. My next challenge is to modify this truck over here. This is normally a farmer vehicle. It even has this smoke on the back that may give it a nice style later. I think this one I'm gonna turn purple. I wanna get that DJ table on top of it too. I think it'll make it really charming. We'll turn it into a pretty futuristic vehicle. Just need to paint it as well. On the bag, I wanna get three of these bombs. Would that look good? In my opinion, that looks really damn stylish. Here in these corners, I wanna grab this core looking thing in purple too. I'll get another on the other side. Now on the hood, I can get a motor like this one. Since these headlights are too simple, I can get these hearts. Of course, they'll be purple too. Let me get another one there so it looks nice. I think it already has a really good vibe. I'll use the game passes I have to even alter its wheels, but which one would be best? That one will surely work. On the other corners, I'll have these glowing things here. I think they'll be good details. What if I get a big heart on the side of the door like this? No, I don't think that'll look good. In the back, I want to get these lights just for a few more style points. So this is how our truck turned out. What do you guys think? In my opinion, it's a whole lot better than before. It even looks like a brand new Brookhaven vehicle. Changing the subject a little, in this video, I showed you guys some secret IDs you can use in Brookhaven. Look at this first one. It's a literal wolf head with a moon glowing on top of it. The ID you're gonna need is this one. This one will give you the head and you'll see the moon just appear and start glowing like that. That's so crazy. This moon looks so glowy with this animation. It'll probably look a lot better if we change the time for night. This is just so awesome. The second ID on the video gives me this head with glowing blue fire. So let me get the wolf head out of the way. And let's use this ID right here. With that, we'll now have that blue fire coming out of our white pumpkin with antlers. If I'm not mistaken, this blue fire particle that's on this head here, you can find one just like it in the particles from the VIP game pass. Maybe this one. Look at that. It's literally the same particle. So you can practically have that same one for completely free with it. Another cool ID we have is this one. It's another pumpkin head, but this one is a whole lot scarier since this one makes ghosts come out of it and they can go really far away from you too. So while you can just hide behind this corner, you'll still be throwing these little ghosts to people at spawn. The players that see this will be so confused. Wait, that guy that was looking for me just showed up at the grocery store. He's probably really confused right now. Where are these ghosts coming from? I think he's starting to get scared. Let's try to spook him more. I'll get this body in the props and place it right beside him out of nowhere. <laughs> So guys, I was looking at some TikTok videos and I found this guy that showed how to drift inside of Brookhaven. He just goes around the map and keeps drifting and doing some crazy stunts. He even makes donuts around a player, which looks awesome. I bet it would be even better if we tried doing it. To do that, I'll grab any car. I think that any can do this at least. Maybe I should use our personalized truck. That's more interesting. Now, if we want to drift in Brookhaven, we need to have 0.9 in the drift settings. I'll also use the regular speed as if I didn't have game pass. Let's see if that works. Could this truck be bad at drifting for some reason? What if if we get those numbers even lower then. Okay, now this seems to be working. Apparently 0.3 is a pretty good setting for it. Let me do one right here. Whoa, okay, maybe the truck wasn't a good idea. I'll try it with this Lamborghini now. How does this one do in a drift test? Maybe if I put it up to eight, it'll work nicely. What about right now? Oh, now we're actually drifting. Damn, this is getting quite hard to control though. Another setting that he tries in the video is this one right here. 0.4, let's see if this one would be good. Why don't I use the same car as him? Which in this case is this Tesla. This one seems to be working. Just look at this right now 
now. Ain't that a lot better? It has to be one of the best drifting results I got so far. Let me try that again. Oh, I crashed a bit that time. If I'm being honest, guys, I'm still new to this drifting thing. But if you guys want to test out the settings from the video, I'll show them on screen right now. Go try it out and tell me if it worked in the comments below. I also forgot one of the most important parts of this. That if you have the premium game pass and activate this smoke option here, the car will start spewing out smoke and it'll look like you're actually drifting. Just like if you were burning your tires on the asphalt. So that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave your like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more. You should also go follow my Roblox profile. It's at NandoYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button. With that, you'll be able to follow me into any public game I'll be playing. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now as well. I know you're gonna love them. Thank you for watching. See you later. Have a good one.